All right, so this tutorial is going to go over how to tri-state your unused pins. Uh, the Cordis version I'm using is Cordis Prime Lite 18.1, but I haven't seen this change in a long time, so it should work for you as well. Um, so if you find that you're doing one of your labs and uh, there seems to be some errors, especially if things appear to be shorted out when your power supply light goes off, uh, first thing to check is if you actually look at your CPLD's uh, PCB, if there's a couple of orange lights on on the board, you know that you haven't actually done this to try stay unused pins. And so the reason for doing this is um, if you have any wires connected to the pins that are not currently in use and you haven't explicitly defined them as inputs and outputs here in the uh, pin planner, uh, then they will have a default value. And we do not want those pins to be connected to anything if they're outputting something like ground or VCC, unless we're sure that we want it to be outputting that. So the way to do that is to go and try state the unused pins. So to do that, you go up here to Assignments, and you choose Device. And then you go to Device and Pin Options. Over here on the left-hand side, you will see an Unused Pins tab. You want to change this from Output Driving Ground to Input Tri-Stated. Now, right now, the lights are on because those are active low LEDs hardwired on the board. Since the output is driving ground, those lights will all be on. As soon as you do Input Tri-Stated, those should go off. Of course, you do have to recompile your design and reprogram it for to see those changes reflected. 